Hey everybody, it's Matt Cavallo checking in with you and I got an email from somebody who read my blog who is, who is in the process of being diagnosed with optic neuritis and, and was going through a tough time. And so I wanted to talk to everyone out there about something called clinically isolated syndrome. Now clinically isolated syndrome is when you get diagnosed with either transverse myelitis, optic neuritis, or brainstem syndrome and you don't go on to have another exacerbation. Let me tell you a personal story about something that happened to me. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was June 10th of 2005. I was recovering from uh, transverse myelitis where I couldn't walk and I couldn't go to the bathroom on my own. Now on June 10th I had my follow-up appointment with my neurologist and he told me to come in and take a seat. So I took a seat and I was like, Doc, don't pull any punches. And he looks at me and he goes, Matt, you have probable multiple sclerosis. And I'm like, probable multiple sclerosis? What's that mean? Do I probably have it or probably not? And he goes, Matt, what you had was a clinically isolated instance of transverse myelitis. We won't know if it's multiple sclerosis until you have your next exacerbation. Now, I'd like to say I handled it better, but I didn't. I went into a deep depression. I thought this stuff was going to happen to me over and over and over again. And come to find out, that's not always the case. If you have clinically isolated syndrome or CIS, you may never have another exacerbation. So my friend that wrote me from my website, you know, this, this bout of optic neuritis could be it. But I would encourage you to keep following up with your doctor. Uh, for me, six months later, I had a bout of optic neuritis where I lost vision in my right eye. That diagnosis of MS was then confirmed. It doesn't always go that way. Sometimes you have this episode, whether it's the, the transverse myelitis, the brainstem syndrome, or the optic neuritis, and, and it interrupts your life for a period of time and you get treated and nothing else ever comes of that. And for you, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, for those of you who, who go on like me to, to have another exacerbation and you get multiple sclerosis, it's going to be okay. Either way, it's going to be okay. Today, there's a lot more options available than there was when I was originally diagnosed 10 years ago. So my best advice to you would be to follow up with your doctor, learn as much as you can, and just believe in yourself and keep fighting. Because today, there is hope. Thank you everybody for, for checking in with me and look forward to seeing you again next time. If you like this, please click the like button. And if you have any other questions about living with a chronic illness and, and would like to see a video, please email me.